Just got here to Roxy's. Supposed to help out, set up the cage. But guess what? I'm the only one here. Oh no, we got another person here now. Another van. I just want to show you this uh, cool ass combat night truck. They got set up. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. It's pretty dope. Oh, that's Gary right there. Yeah, he's doing the, the ground and pound. It's going to be an interesting day. It's fight night. Is that my boy? Oh, that is my boy Jose over there. Let's go say what up to Jose. Yeah, I know. And you know what's funny? That we're Puerto Rican. <laughs> we're Puerto Rican and we're the first ones here. Another night. You know, come by night. We're here to set up that cage. You guys don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a good. It's going to be good. Six guys fighting out of Alliance. I won't fight my own friends unless it's like for big money, you know. Right. But uh, an amateur, I told Mitchell too, I'll fight. I'll fight anybody, man. Anybody that he thinks, anybody that my coach thinks is a good matchup for me, right. I'll fight them, man, you know. Yeah. That's yeah, good. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope, man. Oh, here we go. Backs out. He trained about a year and a half for his fight, you know. And uh, I was thinking, screw it, I'll fight you. I'm no training at all. So about 11:30 at night, I went and got my blood work done, and we're best friends. I told him straight up, tomorrow I'm gonna try to knock you out. You know what I mean? So we went at it, bro. I, I buddied him up. He ended up choking me out, man. Went to sleep, and we're best friends after again. That's what it is, man. Keep it real. Peace. Just got done helping Combat Knight set up the cage. It's about one something right now. Gonna go to my barber shop, get a haircut, cleaned up a little bit. I'm still rugged, you know what I'm saying? But gotta get cleaned up sometimes, even though I'm not a pretty boy. Man, I left my glasses in my car. Yeah, just got cleaned up, you know, right here. I don't know if you can see it. Exclusive barbershop. Getting ready for combat night. Supporting my team. Kept the beard. You know, I shave it off only when I fight on fight day. I don't know why, but I just do it, you know? Helping out at combat night. Look at my toe, man. One of those metal pieces, heavy as hell, landed on my damn foot, toe, right here. Damn, that shit hurt like a motherfucker, yo. Ocean what up, man? What's up, man? What are you doing? What's up, man? It cleans really well. It doesn't irritate my skin, and it smells wonderful. With our camera. <laughs> <laughs>
you know what, Charles? And where's Frank? Don't want to forget his phone. Must have been we got, we got Lakeland in the house. Corey West. Mr. Corey West. How you feeling, Mr. Combat Knight? Can I get an exclusive interview with you? Yeah, of course. You can. can I put this up? I can put this up, right? Yes, you can. How you feel? Well, I definitely feel uh, I'm still right now having all the adrenaline in me. Uh, I'm not feeling any pain right now. I might feel a little different tomorrow morning. But uh, at the end of the day, I made a lot of sacrifices for this fight. Uh, I have no regrets. I made, uh, you know, I made a lot of good friends. I uh, hyped up the fight pretty good in my favor. Uh, I didn't win today, and uh, you know, just tonight wasn't my night. I'm not one of those crybabies that uh, sits here and talks about how, oh, I should have won, or I'm not gonna fight again. I have a fight July 4th, and you know what? If you guys want the same kind of fight, the same kind of action, don't catch me. Cape Canaveral at the Cape. Contact me for all the tickets. Holla at me. All right, guys. Hey. Hey.